We did our video yesterday on how to change the fork oil in a cross-country fork. We had somebody send us in a question and said, why do you have to take the bolt out in the bottom? Why do you have to take that, that drain bolt out? Can't you just do it from the top? So it got us thinking and I said, you know what? We'll make a video. We'll try it. So there you go. It was the first time I've ever done this. So what you want to do, just like the, the video we did, you're going to put your fork tube in a vise. Okay? You, you got to kind of do it in a vise. You're not strong enough to hold it. I like to clamp it right where the triple tree goes so you don't screw anything up. I also put a rag in there. Now, again, I put this in the vise, but I don't crank it in there so tight you're going to break something. It's still loose. You can see. It's just a matter to hold it in there, okay, as, a, as like a second hand, third hand, I guess. This bolt, um, or the, the hex part on the top of the cap, is a 22 millimeter. Now, most of you, 22 millimeter is kind of an oddball. Um, not in metric, but for most guys that have in their toolbox, 7 8 will work. If that doesn't work, crescent wrench works. So what you want to do, you want to break that cap loose. Okay, it's not in there real tight. You want to break that loose. Okay, now the one thing that you may not notice as you're turning this, you, you'll see the cap doesn't come out. You see the bottom spinning? Once the cap breaks loose from the outer tube, the bottom's going to spin. So you just need to hold it. And you don't have to hold it hard. It's, it's, not it's not tight or strong or anything. Just hold it from spinning. And then unscrew your cap. And it does have a little bit of spring pressure on it. So you want to be a little bit careful. It's not going to fly out and go across the garage. Okay, see it came loose. Now, all I did was take this inner tube on the bottom. That's connected to that. Okay, that cap won't come off. You're just unscrewing the cap out of the tube. So now it's loose. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to get yourself a cup. Okay, and we have a cup. You can get these at Lowe's or a paint store. They have the, the graduations on them. They have the, you know, so you can measure the cc's. So you want to get that cup Take that out of there and just pour your fork oil out. Now this is going to drain for a little while so just because it pours out you know kind of quick and stops don't think that you're done. And you may want to you know, kind of rig this up somehow, set the cup on the floor and lean this up against the bench or something so that that fluid drains out of there, you know, for an hour or two, because it's going to take a while. But that's how you do it without taking the drain plug out of the bottom. Now, to refill it, just as easy, you just tip it up. You're going to get yourself a little tiny funnel, put a little funnel in there, and pour the oil back in. That's how you do it without taking the drain plug out. Thanks for watching.